And now the sound of the 60s. It was 1959. A man named Barry Gordy founded a record label named Tamlo Records. A year later, it would be renamed Motown and the rest, as they say, is history. And that history, history lives on at Benjamin Floyd Performing Arts School and its latest production. The students at Benjamin Falloy Creative and Performing Arts Academy hit the stage this morning with their production called Motown Spectacular, featuring the music of Motown. The record label was founded 60 years ago in Detroit. For weeks, the students have been working on their sound, the music, and their dance moves. We used the history of Motown and we took that to help us with you know, the curriculum that we were forming mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. And everyone together just made this happen. So. Backed up by a live band from Suitland High School, the students played the roles of Martha Reeves. Stevie Wonder. Temptations, the Supremes, the Jackson Five, the Godfather of Soul, James Brown made an appearance, even though he wasn't on the Motown label. Among those in the audience today was Tamika Morris. She's the real-life wife of Stevie Wonder. Before this time, the school's choral director, Linnell Randall, says the music of Motown is important. Barry Gordy had a goal of making this music crossover music, and I think that, that really helped our civil, right, um, our civil rights and everything that African Americans did to look for equality and fairness. So I think that, you know, art imitates life and, uh, and life does the same. So the music, I think, just speaks to what African Americans can do. Now, for the record, those students indeed were not lip syncing. They were actually singing those songs. Now, there's one more show tonight at 7 o'clock at Benjamin Floyd at 4601 Buford Road, Morningside. Tickets are just $10.